All right, we're going to talk about linear functions today. So first we need to review what a function is. A function is a rule in which every blank has exactly one blank. Is it every x has exactly one y? Or is it every y has exactly one x? It's every x has one y. So we can use input and output. We can use x and y. Or we can use domain value and range value. But either way, for every input, x, or domain, there's one output. Doesn't matter how many go to the same output. All right, now we're talking about a specific type of function, and that's a linear function. Take a look at the word linear function. What keyword do you see in it? All right, so using the clue linear line functions, we're going to know that it makes a straight line when you graph it. Linear functions make a straight line. If it's not a straight line, we call it a nonlinear function. So we've got a straight line is a linear function, not straight is nonlinear. We're going to worry about the blue and the orange when we get to it. So this graph here, that would be linear. This graph here is not a straight line. Remember, a line in math, it has to be straight. If I say line, just assume it's straight. So this would be nonlinear. Okay? Pause the video. Try these three on your own. First of all, decide if they're all functions. Pause. Okay. This one here is not a function. Remember, it doesn't pass the vertical line test. They all have the same x value of 3. So we're just going to cross this one out completely and put not function. Okay, now of the other three, please pause the video and decide which of these are linear and which are not. Okay, now that you've done that, yes, this one is linear. I could put a ruler there and it would line up. This one is obviously not linear. I could not put a ruler there. This one is linear. That is correct. All right, so the next time we look at linear functions, we've got to look at them as a relationship or a model. So we're going to look at this table here. The first time the mouse had cheese, he had two pieces. The first time the mouse had cheese, he had two pieces of cheese. The next time he had four, the next time he had six, and the next time he had eight. Think about the kind of line these points would make. One, two, two, four, three, six, and four, eight. Those go up by the same amount each time, so that would be a linear function. It goes evenly. We can also predict 2, 4, 6, 8. This next line is going to be 10. So that is a linear function. If you look at this example here, it goes at 1. At the first time, he's only got two pieces of cheese. The next time, he's got four pieces of cheese. The next time, he's down to 3. And the next time he's up at 6. Because it's not going up or down by the same amount, we have absolutely no idea what is going to be in the fifth column. That means it is not a linear function. So let's see if we can make predictions of these tables. Looking only at the x and y, when it goes here, it goes plus 1. When it goes here, it goes plus 10. Okay, the next set of points. When it goes from 1 to 2, it's also adding 1. When it goes from 20 to 40, it's adding 10. Okay? So we can predict, because this is also adding 1, that we can predict this would be adding 10. Oh, it's not. It's adding 40. That's very different. So we can stop here. We don't even need to keep going. If we thought it was a prediction, we would keep going to check. But right here, we know that it's not. This ratio originally was one, or 10 to 1 because we put y's over x's. This one was 10 to 1 because we put y's over x's. This was 40 to 1. Those are nonlinear. You could graph that and see visually that it is not going to be a straight line. For our next table, we've got up 1 and up 10 again. Up 1 and up 10 again. We've got up 2 
and up 20. So your first thought might be that it doesn't line up, but let's check that out. When I do y over x, it's 10 over 1. When I do y over x, it's 10 over 1. When I do y over x, it's 20 over 2. But what do you notice about that? It's going to reduce to 10 over 1. So now we just have to check the last one. It's getting added plus 3. This is going up plus 30. And 30 over 3 does reduce to 10 over 1. So our rate of change is the exact same thing every single time. I need you to pause the video and try these three on your paper. These two, this one and this one, are already in table format. This one, you know how to take the points and make them a table. Okay, once you're done pausing it, I'm going to see if this, or I'm going to show you the answers. Okay, here are all of your answers. This one right here, as you can see, it goes down three and over one for each part between the two points. The rate of change is negative three over one. This is the second one down here. I just scooted it so you had more room. For the first pair, the rate of change is net down three over one. Then it's down one over one. Then it's up one over one, up three over one. None of those reduce to the same thing, so this right here is not a function. Or not a linear function, I'm sorry, they're all functions. It's not a straight line function. It's going to go down, down a little bit, up a little bit, up a lot. This third one, we put it in the table. The bottom two have the same rate of change. They go down two and over five. The top one, however, goes down six over five. Those do not reduce to the same thing, so this one as well is not a function. Please come in ready to tell me if something is or is not a function based on either a graph or a table tomorrow.